So that was last week's video, which was a bit of an experimental, and I've got to say it absolutely worked a treat. There's zero cracking on the edges. Everything sort of bonded and kept in place and you can still achieve that sort of textured look. So adding that PVA to your tile adhesive will really stop that cracking. And what I liked about last week's was this technique that we used to create this sort of textured look as well. So what I'm gonna do this week, I'm gonna apply this technique and my normal technique and sort of merge them into one technique. And I really don't mind if you sort of copy what I do as well to give it a try yourself to create a piece of art for your home as well. And very quickly, if you've just stumbled across this video, I'm James, the channel is called Flowworks. Every single Wednesday, I create a painting for you at home and you can sort of watch how I create pieces of art. So if you like the sound of all of that, we're gonna get this painting down, new canvas on the wall, and we're gonna get painting. The sky turns gray against a fiery display of red and golden hues like the day I felt for you. That's the canvas up on the wall, got different clothes on because I put the canvas up, something happened. So it's the next day, but the canvas is all ready to go. I really enjoyed painting last week's video. I'm gonna do something similar this week, but with just a slightly different color combination, which I'm gonna add a little bit of a twist sort of halfway through this. Yeah, stick around. I'm probably not gonna talk too much in this one. I'm just gonna get paint all over the floor and it's a good job my floor is protected. We'll see how this one comes out. Getting there with this one, I really do like the colour combination on this, especially the top sort of tying in with the very bottom and then the deep colours in the middle. Now I mentioned earlier that I'm going to add something to this. This is a metallic paint by Johnson's. It's just a household paint and what I tend to do is I want to sort of put some markings in this deep dark section to make that colour pop. I'm just going to sort of palette knife it on and just see how it goes. So yeah, but we want this to sort of sit over the top. And 
And before you know it, you've created your modern abstract piece of art to go on your wall. And that's it, art fans. This one is complete. Just added in that sort of gold silver color in there. Hopefully that's gonna dry really nice and sort of sit away from the actual painting. So it should give it some depth. But yes, you'll have to wait until next week's video to see how this one turned out and dried. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please follow me, like, and subscribe. This is Flowworks. Every single Wednesday, I do a painting. And put your comments down below what you think of this piece. And if you like more art like this, then YouTube is recommending a video to watch next, which is here.